colossal happenings. When I say I've got some really big news for this issue, I mean it both literally and figuratively. Hopefully by now you've completed the greatness called Shadow of the Colossus. But believe me, that's only the beginning of the ridiculously large creature hunting. I'm hearing that those artsy fartsy developers are prepping a Shadow of the Colossus sequel for PlayStation 3. And here's the kicker. You'll be able to tackle these colossi alongside a friend over the internet. Nice. Very nice indeed. But here's what really happened. I want you to remember where you were in January 2006. Hostel was torturing moviegoers, D4L's Laffy Taffy just topped the charts, and NASA launched their first mission to Pluto. Only months into the seventh console generation, fans of Team Eco, the makers of the critically acclaimed Shadow of the Colossus, were already gearing up for their next artistic masterpiece. Although the music and movies have changed, Fans of Team Eco continue to wait for the next adventure. Instead of diving into a multiplayer follow-up to Shadow of the Colossus, the beloved company chose to work on The Last Guardian, a brand new IP starring a boy and his giant dog. From the moment it debuted at E3 2009, PlayStation 3 owners were excited to dive into The Last Guardian. But as years of development stretched on, all but the most loyal fans lost hope. And with silence from both Sony and the developers, it looked like we might go another decade without a game from Team Eco. Earlier this year, Sony surprised everybody by reviving the long-stalled project and moving it to the PlayStation 4. Granted, it's still not on store shelves, but for the first time in years, it looks like we might finally have a chance to explore The Last Guardian. Seriously, who would have guessed that the NASA mission to Pluto would move faster than Team Eco? Ugh. Hey, thanks for watching the 18th episode of the 30 Ridiculous Retro Rumors. We're just gonna keep posting these failed predictions every day leading up to Christmas, so I hope you'll continue to tune in. Tomorrow we'll be taking a look at a rumor so big that it could impact both Nintendo and Atari. Also, I decided to watch The Ridiculous 6 this weekend because apparently I hate myself. And maybe I'm biased, but I think the 30 Ridiculous Rumors is better. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you're gonna watch one thing this year with Ridiculous right in the title, then I recommend the 30 Ridiculous Retro Rumors. We'll be back tomorrow with a new episode. Until then.